Welcome to my series, Why Gather? In this series, I decided to take two very difficult challenges, no gathering skills and a level three Iron Man and put them together. Throughout this series, I will be challenging myself and overcoming many obstacles that I may encounter. My in-game goal of this account is to achieve all level 99 stats in the artisan and support skills only. I welcome you to enjoy my journey on the account, Why Gather? The journey on the Why Gather series begins. Episode number one. This is going to be quite the journey, let me tell you. Um, I'm pretty stoked about this, and if you guys did not watch the first episode, episode number zero, the introduction to the series, please go check that out. I explained everything about this series, um, and I did get a lot of feedback as I requested. Thank you guys so much for your feedback, and uh, I have decided to proceed on as planned as a level three Iron Man, no gathering skills. Now, this can always change in the future, and I did see a couple of recommendations to possibly do combat and kind of rely off of those rewards instead and the drops that you would obtain from monsters which this is a pretty good idea uh, don't get me wrong however at that point it would probably just be more like a slayer based account as the majority of everything I would do at that point would just be slayer and who knows maybe this account can uh, progress to that kind of account build in the future we'll see how it goes for now based on your guys's opinions on these first couple of episodes uh, things can change, guys, but for now, like I said, we are proceeding as planned in episode number zero. And also, don't be alarmed, guys, there will be future uh, series in the future as well. And uh, those are probably going to be more based around unique Iron Man rather than skill-based series as I have had previously and currently. So just keep that in mind, guys. There's always room for improvement in the future. And who knows, you guys might enjoy this more than you think. I definitely think I'm going to enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get on into the gains of the first episode, Why Gather? So the first thing that needs to be done on the account is to prepare for Winter Tot. Now this may seem pretty simple at first. However, on a level 3 Iron Man, there's a lot of preparation that goes into uh, getting ready for Winter Tot. The first and probably the most important thing that needs to be done on the account is to obtain 50 fire making. Now this is pretty difficult to do as we don't have access to the woodcutting skill. Now there is only one method to actually doing this without woodcutting and that is to pick up logs found throughout the world. The best spot to do this is on top of the Lumbridge Castle where there are four different log spawn locations where I can light them hop to a different world and repeat the process. And to achieve 50 fire making, we have to light 2,534 of these logs. Hey, real quick guys, before we get too far into the episode, I just wanted to quickly tell you guys that you can now become a member of the YouTube channel. If you are a fan and you enjoy watching this content, then please consider joining it. Simply all you have to do is hit the join button right next to the subscribe button down below this video. And by doing so, you unlock yourself a couple of exclusive things, one of those being this unique badge next to your name when you comment on a video. And there's plenty of other advantages as well. All you have to do is click that join button and you can get more details on it. But uh, thanks again, guys, and hope you consider joining. All right, spared you guys from the boring levels and went straight to level 50 fire making. Finally, that is done with, and our first preparation of Winter Tot is finally completed and now we can move on to the next. Uh, overall, that was not too bad. Um, I'm, I'm only went to Draenor for a couple of minutes because I had some in the bank. Uh, but for the most part, I just burnt them off the ground right up top on the Lumbridge Castle. All right, in total, that took us 5 hours and 16 minutes. Now, there was sometimes I went a little AFK and stuff, so that's not 100% accurate. But we'll go on average, that was about 5 hours to complete which is uh, not too bad, but definitely a lot longer than a normal account would have to go through. So, All right, time to put the bond on the account. Uh, it's definitely getting a little tricky to maintain these bonds on my level 3, but nonetheless, we are managing, and uh, I cannot fuck this up. Don't fuck this up, Sluffin, because if you do, then this is a waste of a bond, because I'll probably end up restarting the account. But hey, no stress. Next up on the list is to achieve five thieving so we can make our way over to the arty uh, marketplace and thieve us some cakes. Now, I do want to get at least 500 cakes. I don't know how many it's going to take us to get to 32 thieving, which is for our other task. But we'll, we'll just see how it goes. But for now, we need to get 
through 5 thieving. Jesus, was that a grind or what? Well, let me tell you, that's the series, guys. Thanks for watching, and, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, now I have to make my way to Artie, and, uh, the only way I can do that is by running all the way from Castle Wars, so that's gonna be fun. So as I was running over to the Artie Marketplace, uh, I realized that there was a more important task at hand that needed to be done before the cakes, and that was getting our agility level up to at least level 40. Now, the reason why we need to get this up is because we will be doing a lot of running back and forth in the winter tot because we're not going to be sitting at one brazier uh, putting in any logs. We're going to have to be running back and forth between the braziers to repair them and light them. That is the only way uh, I can actually train on this account. That is the method we will be using. So I don't even know if level 40 agility is going to work out, but that is going to be the starting level that we at least tempted at, and we might end up training it a little bit more after that. Here I am about to get 40 agility. Uh, I did plan on staying here all the way to level 50 because I was streaming this uh, while I was training agility. And uh, I decided not to go to 50 because I wanted to change it up a little bit for uh, the viewers and make it a little bit more spicy, if you know what I mean. So we decided to move on after level 40 and do some other things. But like I said before, guys, we might end up coming back here. I don't know. We have to test it out at the old winter tot and just see how good it is actually or if it's terrible and we need to come back. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. But for now, that is the second test completed, and we can move on. So once again, I got sidetracked and decided to start a couple steps of another task on the way to the RD Marketplace. As you guys know, uh, warm clothing is needed for Winter Tot, and the Clue Hunter outfit is mainly around RD. So I decided to pick up some of these pieces, and we did also have to run past the... Uh, bug harpy swarms again whatever you want to call them and uh, i did do that on stream so go ahead and have a look for yourself don't think we need anything else maybe this eye patch how much is a oh yeah we're getting that eye patch if only this didn't take five defense that would be uh some nice fashion scape right there oh yeah boys look at us <laughs> Yo, this eye patch is pretty legit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, my guy looks like an actual pirate right now. Yeah, we're ready to rock. I'm not afraid of no fucking harpy swarms now. I'm gonna YOLO it. We're YOLOing it. Oh my god. Eat, 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 eat. Yo, that thing just smacked a fucking six on me. We're not going back that way. We're teleporting out of here. <laughs> Please tell me my teleport is up. Two minutes. We're waiting it. We're waiting it out. I'm not risking that. Alright, where's this shit at? There we go. Yo, seriously, why can't I zoom in my character right here? Dude, this outfit is so sick. This is like the best early on fashion scape you can get right here. And that eye patch just makes it 10 times better. I wish I could zoom in on my character. Let me know what you guys thought of those last couple of streaming clips that I showed you guys just now i'm going to try to include a lot of the streams on this account as i do plan on streaming a lot of this account uh, just so you guys can watch and follow along that way as well so yeah i'll probably end up adding a lot of streaming clips to this series so if you guys kind of like that just let me know down below but uh, yeah we did manage to get all the way up to 30 thieving uh, i did cakes up until 20 and then we went over to the silk stalls uh, because i did need some gp for a later task on the construction so we need a little bit of coins from there. So I decided to steal the silk as we were already there and we'll sell it later for some extra cash and we can use that on the construction grind. Finally, I could sell all of my silk for the nice GP that we need. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I did mention this in the stream. I need this to complete the construction grind. Uh, 1K for the POH and then the rest are just to cover the nails. I don't know how much I needed for those, uh, but 10K should be plenty amount of money. And now we can uh, move on with stealing some cakes. About to achieve the level that is required for the rogues, which is one of the tasks 
Uh, I just need to actually go out to the rogues in the wilderness and thieve an iron dagger poison, which is going to be in turn used on the Druidic Ritual quest. But there it is, level 32 thieving. And like I said, we can now pickpocket from the rogues. Uh, so that's going to be pretty interesting to do. Hopefully we don't die. Uh, fingers crossed I haven't died out there yet on a hardcore Iron Man, but knowing my luck, I probably will. Here should be the last inventory. Yep, 511 cakes. Uh, again, this was just a minimum amount that I wanted to achieve for now. We definitely will end up having to come back here, uh, but this is definitely a good amount to start off the grind at Winter Tot. And that is our third task overall completed on our uh, preparations for Winter Tot. So we'll keep it going. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Overall, during this episode, we managed to complete three of the seven tasks that we put out to achieve. And we are almost finished with two of the remaining four tasks that we have left, with just a few more things left to do. Overall, this was a pretty successful episode. And here are our ending stats. We managed to get 41 agility, 32 thieving, and 50 fire making. Once we are able to reach Winter Tot, we'll easily be able to increase some of those other skills as well. And also, you might have noticed last episode, I did have planned to achieve 99 Slayer on this account. However, that is actually not possible. After a little bit of research, I quickly discovered that the cleaning finds method, which was the only method I had available to me, or at least I thought, is actually impossible to do on this account without completing the dig site quest which gives you mining experience. So unfortunately there's really no way I can actually train Slayer so that will just remain level 1 but nonetheless the grinds will still continue. Oh hey you are still here? Well have you decided to hit that join button yet? Hey you hit that button you and I could get married in the Port Sarim church. How's that sound? Yeah I know you like that. I know you like it.